Hi students. So now we are again coming back to the the topic of respiration. Okay, the energy producing system. The completed class we learn about how gases. Are passed in our body. What are the parts are are participating in the respiration? Who discovered the gases? How those are transported? What is cellular respiration? Okay, that is the topic sir. Ah, we have we have discussed in the previous class. Now today we are going to be learn about the pathway of A, the way of A, the pathway, how those are step by step going on. In the complete class, we learned about what are the steps involved in your respiration. But now we are learning pathway of A, first step, which step it will go, and second step where it will go, and third step where it will go. That way is called pathway, pathway of A. Okay. The pathway of A. If you want to know the pathway of A, these are mainly the steps are involved. You can find out the steps what are there. Nostrils, nasal cavity, pharynx, larynx, trachea, bronchus, bronchiole, alveolus, blood. These are the a pathway of transportation of the A. Okay, you can find out nostrils, nasal cavity, pharynx, larynx, trachea, bronchus, bronchiole, alveolus, blood. Okay, it's a pathway. So first of all, we should know about that <coughs> nostrils. What means of old nostrils? You can find out. We have know already. What is the part is helping for breathing? If you want to breathe, you should definitely need part stretch of the nose. Nose helping for breathing, but external side how to see the part is the nose. But contain the two holes. The two holes are it's like a pipe lines. The two holes are called nostrils. The two holes are called nostrils. By the nostrils are the air enter. By the nostrils are the air enter into our body. The first step is passing. The pathway of the first of air is the nostrils. Okay, it's a, these two holes are called nostrils. And the nostrils, the next one is called nasal cavity. The nasal cavity. Here we have a pipeline. For example, if you can find out. Okay, if you can find out the nose, we have some two pipelines are present right here. Yeah, these are two holes. Here is one hole. Here is one hole. The holes are called. Nasal cavity. It's a way where this pipe is called nasal cavity. The starting is called nostrils, which is helping for the taking of air to this whole zone and exit to this one also, primary one place. And second one, the nasal cavity. Okay, the nasal cavity it contains some quantity of the air inside. The nasal cavity contains some quantity of the air that is helping for the nasal cavity helping for the filter air. It's one of the air filter because in our in our in our nature the plenty of the air like the plenty of the compounds are present in air. It has some dust particles also. If the dust particles are entered into our body, they will definitely the problem for the infections inside. Some definitely some infections are inside. To avoid this, earth, we have inside some air present. Some air present. The air help to for. To stop the dirty particles, if any dirty enter into that, will stop. So that reason, there is a heat and some contents of some moisture. 
It has some moisture, it's some wetted. It's like some wetted, some moisture contains. Whenever this dead particles enter, that will be moisture, will be, and also the hay will be stopped. Whatever the moisture hay, it will be stopped if any dead particles are entered. Okay, it has some temperature also. We can find out. Keep your hand, keep your palm in front of your nose and blow hay to the nose. We can find out some temperature will come with some temperature also. Okay, we can find out here some, some hair also presented inside. Some hair also presented inside. It's helping it somewhat of wetted, help to stop the dead particles. It is working as like a filter of the natural chemical. And the next one is comes to the palates. Next one is called palates. It is a one of the place. Okay, next one place of the natural chemical. Palates. Okay, it contains of the nearby the food pipe and also wind pipe. The both are connected here only. The parents, food pipe and also wind pipes are the both contained. Parents. Okay. In the parents of one type of the a specialized organ called it's called epiglottis. What is called epiglottis? <coughs> this epiglottis is present in the place of the parents. Okay, in the place of the parents. Okay, the, comp the components are the passages of the digestive system also and wind system. The both are starting from the place of the parents only. From the place only the food also divides, from the place only the wind also divides, the air also divides. The both tracks will present there only. That means not a both tracks, the both specialized waves are also present in the place of the parents only. Okay, that parents has contained the, the part of epiglottis. What is called epiglot upside. Okay, that epiglot is, is control the passage of the, the air, which is the respected way, and air also, I mean, food also in the respected way, and air also the respected way, which will be going on. It will done by the work of the epiglot is. It is present in the place of the parents. The next one is called larynx. Next one part is called, next one place is called larynx. Larynx, it contains of there is some type of the like in any words, some bones which are the smooth bones are presented in the capillary bones. Some type of the, the capillary bones also presented. Okay, it's one of the in the place of the larynx. Actually, the larynx is one type of the sound box. It's a white box. If you want to say anything in the larynx, some type of the movements will come. When you take a breath, you know, find out if you can take a more breath, we can talk more time. If you take a less breath, we can talk less time. What is the reason behind that? Do you have an idea? You know, have idea in that eighth class. Adam's apple. We can find out Adam's apple presented in the place. Okay? A la larynx can be Adam's apple. It's also voice box, vocal cord, we have to call. Vocal cord or voice box, we can call. So then what happened at the time? Whenever the air is passing into the voice box, that is some type of the movement will come in the larynx. Some type of movement will come. Due to the reason, what are the base on the movements we can able to talk? Whatever you want to talk, that sound will produce in the place of the larynx. It's a vocal cord present. It's one of the sound box course. Okay? You know already in the eighth class, the girl's voice are very smooth, like in some water smooth. But the gen's voice are, means what, like any, uh, announcing voice are, the voice has some change, some harsh parts, because of, here is some type of nine catalyzers are presented. Nine catalyzer bones are presented. These nine catalyzer bones are, will be elongation, but open that one, it will be elongation. Whether the elongation open that one, then the air will pass through this way, the voice will be somewhat a hops, but girls are not, it will be closed, that's why the voice is somewhat a skip. It is the reason behind them. We have experience already in our previous classes, but now I want to recall again to you to understand, better understand you. Okay? And the larynx, larynx. And the next one is the air is passed in the place of the trachea. The air is passed into the place of the next step is called trachea. That means of the word trachea, it is the place of throat. You can find that if you can touch your uh, neck here, we can find some tube present here. It is a trachea. 
it's one of the you know like you know, we can find out uh, like uh, some type of tube based presentation you can you can see it it is called trachea okay is trachea the next one the lens are connected connected with any trachea it's a pipeline going on there are some pipeline going on trachea the next one the very next one of this are the trachea and the next one is called bronchus this is called bronchus that means the place where the trachea will be divided like in two parts the trachea will develop like in two parts here when it come to be here it will develop like two parts here is one lung here is one lung course the two the one trachea it divided like in two pipes two branches okay the two branches are called bronchus the two bronchus the two or the two divides is called bronchus okay and the next one and the next one the bronchus will be divided like in a very small pipes very small branches and the bronchus will be whenever the it enters to the lungs the bronchus enters to the lungs one lung it contain one lung it contain inside of the lung it will again will be subdivisions presented there are sub subdivisions are presented those subdivisions are called branchiole those subdivisions are called branchiole these are very small very lean structures are presented those are called branchioles by that way when air is coming in fill with the lungs okay from nose it has got a nostrils nostrils to nasal cavity nasal cavity to pharynx pharynx to larynx larynx to trachea trachea to bronchiole bronchus bronchus to bronchiole and next it go into the place of the lungs it is into the place of the lungs the clot present here the bronchus open in the place of the bronchiole open in the place of lungs okay so in that lung i told you a micro sac the micros of the millions of microsacs are presented those are called alveoles the plural word i think it is called alveoli or alveoles okay the a next one go to the place of the lungs lungs contain a, a small micro tubes like you can find out This type of structure is present. We can find out. If you can see the grape, how does it look like that one? That type of shape we can find out. That's called alveoles. It is this type of structure that are present in the lungs. A very small micro sac tubes are present. In. Okay, those are called alveoles. After the air enters the place of the alveoles, it will be mixed with the blood. The mixed with the blood. At that time, the blood can be transported throughout the body. Again, that will be reverse. You can find out here. That one second is all. One second, I will tell you the reason. The nostrils, when the air is entered the nostrils, it is coming to the place of the nasal cavity. Nasal cavity can help to filter the air. After filtration completion, that one next will enter the place of the pharynx. The pharynx get in the epiglottis. There are two divisions are present. One is digestive division, and another one is respiratory division. The two divisions are they start from here only. Okay, and it comes to the pharynx to the larynx place. Next of all, it goes to the place of larynx. The larynx is a voice box, vocal cord present. When the air is entered here, it helps to produce a sound. Okay, and the larynx to the place of next year is going to be trachea. trachea it means of trachea i told the throat is a it's a on type of tube presented next is enter the place of the throat it's a trachea and the uh, in next is of all it going to the place of the bronchus that means this trachea will be like a two parts which is are uh, entering the place of the lungs okay that's called bronchus the two one here one here and the two bronchus will be developing in some subdivisions the each one is called bronchiole the richer called bronchi these bronchioles are open in the place of the in the lungs very small line tubes are present and the uh, next of all the gas is entering the place of the lungs which is open in the place of lungs 
The last thing I think that IOS, very small microtube sacs are present there. These IOS can exchange the blood, exchange into the blood. These IOS can exchange into the blood. At that time, the blood can transport throughout the body where the blood is oxygen needed. Next. The blood can transport oxygen throughout the body where the place is needed. That happens, the uh, cellular refresh happens. After completing cellular respiration, these oxygen will be converted to carbon dioxide. These oxygen will convert to carbon dioxide. At that time, again, who brings the carbon dioxide to oxygen? Again, the blood only will reverse. So, the blood can bring the carbon dioxide. You can find out reverse also reaction. The blood can bring the carbon dioxide. The carbon dioxide comes to the alveolus. Alveolus to bronchiole. Bronchiole to bronchus. Bronchus to trachea. And it comes to the next place of the larynx. It comes to the larynx to paris. Paris to nasal cavity. Nasal cavity to nostrils. It comes outside. Uh, which way the venter into the body? In the same way it will be reverse also. It is a, the pathway of pain. It is the pathway of air. This way the air enters the body, the same way the air will come to be reverse also. Okay? It's an air, a pathway of air. Understand? And next one I want. Okay, this is a pathway. Remember, this is very, very important. And next one I want. I told you, the epiglot is where I enter the place of the pharynx. The pharynx can one type of for It's called epiglot is I say. Okay, epiglottis. Epiglottis, is, it is present in the place of the pharynx. It is one type of the flat structure. It's one type of flat structure, like it's present in the open and close like in the I told you, in the pharynx place, the two tracks are, are started. One is dash to track, another one is wind track. Wind track also started in the place of the pharynx only, dash track also in the place only. But, these are end in a different way. Okay. They start in the place of the pharynx, but they end in one pipe in the stomach, and one pipe is ending in the place of the lungs. One pipe ending in the place of the lungs, one pipe ending in the place of the stomach. But start in the place of the pharynx only. They start in the place of the pharynx only. Then how it will be controlled? Then you, when you're taking the food, if the food is at the end of the place of the land, it will be injured. Then the air part is not no problem. When the food is entered into the place of the land, it causes the some belching problem will come. The, it will be some a problematic thing happen in the place. Okay, that time how it should be? To control that one, there are the one of the part, that part is called epiglottis. The body is called epiglottis. This epiglottis is helping for its flat structure. The traffic will be controlled. It's open and closed. Like when you're taking the food, okay, when you're taking the food, the partially the air pipe will be closed. The food enters to the food pipe. Understand? Whenever you're taking the breath, the food pipe will be closed, the air enters the place of the lungs. Okay, like a this will be, the people can have to be controlled by traffic. The traffic will be controlled by epiglottis. Okay, when you are eating the food, the windpipe will be closed by epiglottis, the food enters the stomach. When you are taking the breath, the food pipe is like an air, closed and wind enters the lungs. It's a air will be entered to the lungs. It's a two ways of the process going on. It's the epiglottis work is mainly have to control the so that's why if, if anything is happening in a reverse way, it's a very problematic thing. The food can come reverse way stance. The food will come in a reverse way stance too. Okay? For this kind of problem, that's the reason our, our animal suffer can say, don't talk while you are eating food. Okay? Our animal suffer telling that one, don't talk while you are eating food. Because uh, if you are eating, when you are when eating the food, if you are talking means at that time, the epiglottis work is may not do well. That is what is the problem, the food will be some to the place of the life, which is the problem. Understand? 
that's why we have to call it a proper pain. The word can be epigraphic. Understand? And I don't know the word of it. What can be epigraphic? in human beings okay we know uh, we have some type of the two lungs are present we know where we have two lungs are present and then two lungs are it will be caught by rib cage you know yes rib cage Okay, we have rib cage. The rib cage has some type of the flexible bones are presented. These flexible bones can protect the lungs. Our rib cage contains like an either some of the parts of some muscles also presented. A lungs are presented, and the ribs can cover these all the parts. Inside the one of the parts, we know we can find our diaphragm. Diaphragm is a part. You know, chest cavity also present there. Chest cavity also present there. Diaphragm. Diaphragm is help to be expansion and uh, coming and relaxation. You know, if I take breath, my chest part is coming forward. If I release, my chest part is going to be backward. It's coming to be forward and going to be backward. That means the diaphragm is expansion and going to be relaxation. The diaphragm is going to be expansion and relaxation. That means there are some muscles, sir. Which are the muscles? I will go for that. Some type of the chest muscles, sir. Okay, and some these muscles have to be expansion and relaxation. If the muscles are not expansion, a lungs will be in a same in a place. It won't be the adjustable. It can't be adjustable when you're taking the breath. So it's like it's like any all all lungs like any balloons, like a sponge works. It looks like a sponge. And also expansion like a balloon shop. If it expands also, but bones are not expanding, it will be problematic. 
So when you're breathing time, the both are expansion and also the lungs are the expansion. At the for doing this work, the diaphragm is working proper. The diaphragm control is all work, sir. Understand? The diaphragm control is all work. For example, imagine if the diaphragm is a floor. Imagine if diaphragm is a floor of the of the the chest is like a room. The chest space is like a room. The diaphragm is like an here is the how the diaphragm. The diaphragm is like a floor. If you, if, you, if you imagine like it is a floor, a chest part is like in a room. If the room is expansion, I'm going to be relaxation. Going to be expansion, going to be relaxation. When I'm breathing, the chest part is going to be expansion, going to be relaxation. It's a work of the diaphragm. So that's why when your inspiration time, when inhalation time, when you breathe in time, the inhalation time, the chest part is going to be forward. In exhalation time, the chest part is going to be backward. Okay, the work will be under control of the muscles are, which are like a chest muscles are. By recording the work of the coordination of work of the diaphragm, the both are when inhalation time the chest part going forward and exhalation the chest part going to be backward. It is the one of the mechanism of the human respiration. It's a mechanism of the human respiration. Understand? Uh, next about you can know about our uh, lungs. The mainly the main part of that to discuss about the respiration we are lungs. Do you know how many lungs we have? You know them, but this time asking that you know one pair of lungs. It means two lungs we have. We have two lungs. Those are looking like a sponge. Lungs are looking like a sponge. And those are the two lungs are, are not in the same size. The two lungs are not the same size. Okay, we have two lungs. One is right side, another one is left side. Right side also on left, left side also on left. Two lungs we have. But the both are not a same in size. Can you say which is a small, which is a big? See, the left side lung is smaller than the right side lung. There are two lungs. Okay, left side lung is smaller than the right side lung. Because of the, you can guess that because the, the left side is one of the one main organ of the heart. Because of arrangement of the heart, the left side lung is smaller than the right side lung. The left side lung is smaller than the right side lung because of reason. It's one of the work. What is that one? It's a size of here. The heart is functioning because of arrangement of the heart here. Okay, uh, left side lung is small, somewhat of and right side lung is somewhat a big than the left side lung. So, left is small. <coughs> And right is big. Left is small and right side is big. Understand? Because of element of the heart in the place of the left side. Okay. And the lungs are, are covered by two membranes. Membrane means two layers. Okay. The lungs are covered by two membranes. The left for protection of the lungs. Okay. That is the layer is called pleura. The lungs, are, the, the lungs are covered by two membranes. The two membranes are called pleura. They have to be protected the lungs from it. Okay? And the two membranes are contain some fluid. For example, if you can imagine it's a lung. If you imagine this one, the lungs you contain the form by two membranes are covered that one, two power by four, two power by four. And inside of this lungs you have contained the here in the in the in this one, some contains of some fluid. A means of the fluid is called liquid. Contains some liquid. That liquid is 
has to be to protect the lungs. The liquid has to protect the lungs. The two members are called pleura. Okay, the two members are called pleura. And next one of all, what is the capacity of our lungs? What is the capacity of our lungs? Our uh, lungs capacity, how much means? The capacity of our lungs is nearly 5,800 ml of ml. Meaning, the maximum of our lungs capacity is 5,800 ml. The capacity of lungs are 5,800 ml. Okay, that's the maximum capacity. But that much we are not able Then, inhalation time, when we are taking breathing time, we are taking 500 ml of air. When inhalation time, we are taking 500 ml of air. Okay? When inhalation time, we are taking 500 ml of air. When exhalation time, we are releasing 500 ml of air. That means how much we are taking inside, that much only we are using outside. It's only 500 ml we are taking. But our maximum lungs capacity is 5800 ml. That much A we can take, we can store in our lungs. But that much we are not taking, we are taking only nearly 500 ml only we are taking when inhalation time. We are taking 500 ml. I am releasing 500 ml. Okay, that is excellent. And constantly, but not about these are. But remains in our stomach, in, in our lungs contain nearly 200 ml of air also be left in the lungs, in the, in the lungs. Actually our lungs contain the 200 ml constantly. Okay, so actually our lungs contain the 200 ml constantly. When inhalation we are taking the 500 ml, that means how much happened? 1700 ml. Next time, inhalation time. And in exhalation time, again we are sending outside. That means how much we are sending minus means 1200. That means constant presentation of air in the lungs are 200 ml. Constant presentation of the lungs are 200 ml. When inhalation is taking 500 and the same air we are sending outside also. So our lungs contain the constant amount 200 ml contains. When inhalation is taking 500, the same quantity of air we are sending outside also. At the maximum capacity of our lungs are 5800 ml. That much capacity of the air can be stored in our lungs. Okay. It's 